did you ever go through your Derek Danforth like phase? Did, were, did, were you ever kind of a jerk? You think? Like, what's the, if I asked uh -huh. your mom, what so was what was the age at which Josh was kind of like, okay, we have to have a talk? I mean, <clears throat> okay, Not, <laughs> <laughs> she would say sixteen. Um, and, and I think that when I was like 16, I was going through a moment of, at that point, I'd been a professional working actor for seven years and was kind of like having this existential crisis of like, what do I want my life to be and lashing out and being rebellious and things like that. But it, it was very contained. Okay. Okay. Short period of time. There's never been a case where you've actually uttered the words, do you know who, who I am? No, 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 no. Okay, good. I didn't no. think so. Just no. checking. No, never. Actually, sometimes my friends will be like, "Want well, to get a reservation at this place?" Like, yeah, maybe we can. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> not. We're not doing that. They're like, okay, I get it. Like, what if we called and we said, like, we're trying to make a reservation for you? I'm like, dude, that just sucks, man. Right. That just sucks. Let's just get takeout. Like, right. I don't want to. Not, not worth it. That doesn't feel good. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. So um, I was lucky enough to be on the periphery of the ride that was the Hunger Games with mm -hmm. you guys, and we got to know each other through those amazing years. It's so funny to me. I don't know what it, your perspective is on this. Um, there's like so much nostalgia now for the Hunger Games as mm -hmm. if it happened 30 years ago. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, but it wasn't that not that long I ago. I guess. Does it, it, does it feel like a long time ago at this point? It's weird. I know like recently when I was seeing all the billboards for the, the, new, the new movie coming out, I kept panicking in a way, feeling like I should be at a press junket. Right. Or that I should be promoting this movie somehow. <laughs> so that was weird. But no, it's, it's, it's a weird feeling because on one hand, it feels like another lifetime ago, but it also just feels like yesterday at the same time. So it's, it's, it's hard to really place it. But it was like more than 10 years ago, the first one. I mean, does it feel like it's- I it's, shot the first one 13 years ago. It's crazy. Like, that's wild. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, do you remember at this point the initial audition? Was, was there a chemistry uh, test with Jen? Yeah. What do yeah, you yeah, that? yeah. I remember it was, uh, it was funny actually, because this was like a month after I had auditioned for Spider-Man right. and didn't get Spider-Man. And then that's, that's true. I ended up being PETA. So I was like, oh, this works out. I'm, I'm done. Um, but uh, but yeah, it was crazy because we uh, I'd done like the first round of auditions and then like you'd never hear anything back, so I assume okay, you didn't get that. Like on to the next, and then they called and they said, hey, we're gonna do like a chemistry read. I had a few actors and I went and met with Jen, and um, I had actually met Jen uh, when we were doing I was doing press for the kids are all right, and she was doing press Winter's for Winter's Bone. Bone. Yep. And I was sitting there at the table at like the SAG Awards, and she came up to me and I hadn't met her, but I had like known about her, and she was like, Josh. Hi, I'm Jen. I was like, yeah. hi friend, hi, how are you? And she basically told me the story that she uh, saw, because she's from Kentucky as well, right. and she saw in a newspaper that like local, local actor kid from Kentucky, it makes it big in Hollywood. <laughs> and so she like. Again, it wasn't that long ago, Josh. This just in, Josh yeah. uh, just in, this yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she, she saw that and she took that to her parents. They were like, look, this kid made it. I can. So she told me that. And uh, I mean, we hit it off right away. And the and, um, rest is ancient history. Does Joshifer live in some capacity to this day? Oh, yeah, for sure. Is yeah, it? I mean, we, we, we talk all the time. And, and uh, she's got like a whole family. And yeah. like, she's living a whole life. And, and you know, it's, it's hard to get us all back together. But uh, that time was incredible. And yeah. like, working with that cast that moment, those filmmakers, it was just, it was the best, man, and, and I miss it. Yeah. So what's the most meaningful thing related to acting and totally unrelated to acting <laughs> that you got out of that experience? Because like there is the acting portion of like working with like an amazing array of talent yeah. and great filmmakers, and then there's the whole apparatus that sure. is very unique. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think for me just over the course of the years, anytime that you get to work with Actors like Jen or Philip Seymour Hoffman, Julianne Moore, like the, the, the cast in this is like insane. You just, yeah. you hope that some of that rubs off on you in some way. You just, whether that's just their general vibe on set or Jen, for example, has a really specific style where she'll be completely wacky, out of her mind, right. like a loose cannon. And then they say action and it just instantly snaps into hyper focus. Right. And like part of that looseness allows it to then like slap into like a very specific thing. Um, yeah, Francis told me recently that some actors actually almost like 
it bothered them that she was so good at that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. she could just turn it on and off. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I, I think for me, I definitely enjoyed it because I'm very Similar. much like her yeah. in that way. Um, but I can see somebody who's like trying to actually work. Stay in it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's like, like trying to take something seriously. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Might be hard for them. Um, yeah. So that on the acting front, I think. And then like personally, I think um, just that whole experience, me, Jen, and, and Liam specifically, that trio of uh, just the the rocket ship that that was and the press tours and the attention and the fame and everything was just, it's a lot. And we were young. I was, I was 18 when we made the first one. Yeah. And uh, just all that happening to you in such a, a massive way, having that camaraderie and that real like family feeling that you create, um, that's something that's super special. And just learning how to like lean on others when you're going through something that's crazy because they have a similar, sure. similar experience. Yeah.